let's talk of the PCOS phenotype B. Now, I'll give you a, a description on this page. So, what is this patient doing? She's got high androgens, she's got hirsutism, she's got irregular periods, but ovaries do not appear polycystic. And have a look at this ovarian picture. So you've, you've got an ovary that has these follicles, and you think, well, is that polycystic ovaries? The answer is no, it's not. What you have is a very dense theca, and this is called theca, and that is what represents the androgenic aspect. And why are these cases considered to be severe? Because this is this part, and if you see that, the thicker it is, it is more difficult to make that ovary wake up. It's more difficult to make that ovary start stimulating. And that's because it, the androgens are more likely to be much higher. Now, when you have a look at that ovary, we start seeing that the follicles are not 20, 22. There are about 8 or 10 follicles in both the ovaries. And what you're seeing is you're seeing a much thicker Theca, and that is what is incredibly important. Is if you have a look at this theca, this part, and the, it is that intervening period which is going to give you a much more difficult. So what is this? This is type B. All ovaries that not look typically polycystic, have high androgens, have irregular periods, and that is something which is important to understand.